Are you tired of not being able to afford an op? Are recoil patterns too hard for you? Is Olafmeister your favorite player? Then fear not, the op made in China is for you. First, let's learn some statistics of the weapon. The op made in China is the poor man's variant of the op. It is available on both CT and T side for $1700. It holds 10 rounds in each magazine, with 90 in reserve, so you won't be running out of ammo anytime soon. The rate of fire is higher than the op, so you can spam more rounds with it downrange, in combination with the additional ammo. The movement speed of the op is one of its strongest points, at 230, making it very quick. For comparison, it only runs 8% slower than if you're running with a knife out. Another benefit is you can move at full speed when scoped in, unlike the op. Now, one of the more unique tactics to use in this gun is jump scouting. The scout is accurate when jumping, so you can jump up from behind cover and get a shot in before they can react. Before when the jumping hitboxes were broken and no one could hit you, you could easily abuse this and hold B-Sight on Mirage all by yourself with the scout. Even after they fixed the hitboxes, jump scouting was still a good tactic in many situations. Well, that is until Valve nerfed it. Don't look at me. Don't look, Don't at, look me. at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. It's hard to breathe Now and then I get insecure From all the pain I'm so ashamed <laughs> And I am beautiful No matter what they say Don't you bring me down today One fifth of those shots were on a smurf. Now let's move on to some gameplay tactics of the weapon. The scout's biggest benefit is its movement speed. You should always go for quick peeks with this gun. You can easily outshoot an auto sniper or an op with it. Just peek around the corner and go for a quick shot. The fast movement speed in combination with Peeker's advantage makes it really easy to work picks against stationary snipers. The Scout really is a niche weapon because of its price though. For $1700 you could buy something like a 1D in armor and be better prepared against enemies. Alternatively, you can watch the tutorial on how to use the 1D here. With the Scout, you'd have to buy armor with it. Otherwise, you're going to get aim punched instantly and not hit anything. So for $2700, it's not really a good investment money-wise because there's much better more hilarious options out there likely to get kills. All jokes aside, it is still possible to jump scout, although much harder. You have to get it as close as you can to the peak of your jump now. It's more accurate on the way up than on the way down, so you're better off shooting too soon than too late. Phantom Lex actually has a really great in-depth tutorial if you want to watch it to learn how to actually properly jump scout still. If you do eventually learn how to jump scout properly, here's some great spots for it. On Dust 2, you can sit behind the box on A site and try and get a quick kill. Then you can fall back and hold this angle here, and then when they start pushing up and getting closer, you can just fall back to Cat and hold that angle for the cross. This is actually one of the few sites I'd rather spend the extra $2,700 on a scout for, rather than trying to hold it with a pistol. B site on Mirage is another great spot because you have to jump to see it, and the long hallway makes a nice tight choke point. Another quick tip is on B site Dust 2. If you jump on this ledge under window, and then jump, you can see both tunnels and mid at the same time, unless you're a dumbass playing on 4x3 black bars. This way you can see what side they're coming from and adjust accordingly. So that's all there is to using the op made in China. Tune in next time as I show you how to use the pocket op, and remember... And I am beautiful, no matter what they say.